So good evening, everyone. Since I was alone, you know, my friend is not there, so I have to make a video all alone. <clears throat> Anyhow, so today it is the time to tell you something about parables of the Bible. Probably Jesus is the best teacher we ever, you know, have in history. What I love about Jesus is that the stories are really very simple. Okay. They are very simple, but they are immensely, you know, deep. So the beauty lies there, you know, of these parables, that they are very simple. But they are very deep. <clears throat> and that will definitely make you understand some all the parables one by one. I will make a separate video for every parable. And I will explain it to you. So if you want and you are interested in knowing, do subscribe. Because in future I will be making series on this. And naturally there will be a series also on Bhagavad Gita. <clears throat> now the first thing is, I will be explaining you a very simple parable. It is the parable of the hidden treasure and the pearl. There are two parables. One is the parable of the hidden treasure. Now, where actually is this, you know, treasure is hidden? What Jesus is talking about that in this parable? What, what, where is, where lies this treasure? What is actually happening? So first of all, let us understand the process. He says that it is like the you know a kingdom of heaven. You have to search where is the kingdom of heaven. And naturally, he always says that kingdom of heaven is inside us. So if kingdom of heaven is inside us, so where it is located? Is the field? Where is the field? Okay. So I will let you explain this better. <clears throat> now suppose if you have a field. Okay, if you have a field, this is a field where we actually plow things. Okay, we are growing <laughs> different crops over there. Now, in this particular field, if there is something hidden, then what you have to do? How you are going to get it? Okay, let us apply some common sense. How you are going to get it? The simple thing is, we are going to get it like this, that we have to dig it. Okay, if there is soil, you have to dig it and be, okay, you have to dig it with some, something, you know, you have, you require some, a spade or something to dig it. And once you are going to dig it, then you are going to reach, you know, at a certain depth, okay, and you are going to get, if something is buried, I suppose there, down there, then you are going to reach it. So the process is that you, you, you require yourself, you require an instrument, a spade, say for example, and then you have to work. Okay, so there is a process involving three things. You are required, a spade is required, a field is required, and you have to work. Then only you can take. So there, there are the steps. First of all, there should be a field. Then there should be there should be you okay there should be you then there should be a spade and lastly you have to you know <clears throat> you are going to reach then you have to work so there are four things which are required <clears throat> or which are the basic requirements <clears throat> when you are going to dig something from the field. So, <clears throat> when he says there is a hidden treasure and you have to take it out, then you require these four things. Okay. Now, the important thing is, where is the field? Where are you? Where is the spade? And where you have to work? So, the field is your body. The field is your body. But this body, you know, not this body, the body which is inside your body, that is the sukshma shari. Okay, that is the sukshma, the subtle body. Okay, 
okay the body is subtle this subtle body inside that you are there then you have to dig okay with the help of a spade now you cannot say i am going to dig with my body with the help of a spade what is this and then you have to walk now the point is that your body is the key then your heart is there okay where you have to work is your heart by certain specific yogic techniques your heart can be done okay and when with those specific techniques you are going to dug inside your heart okay then only you can see the treasure the important point is that the, that he went okay the person went in joy when he saw that particular you know treasure he went back he hid that he went back and what he did is he actually then he gave away everything okay this is very important and brought bought that particular field he is not saying that he is buying that particular treasure make sure this is very important he is saying that he is buying the entire field okay so the point is one the important point is you have to sold everything okay you have to sell it means what you have to sell you have to sell what you have he said okay what he was having he sold that so it means he sold his greed his power greed his thoughts his negative thoughts his negativity okay greed he wanting desires everything he sold okay he forgot he he sold he said let them go and only then if you're going to sell your greed your thoughts your poor thinking everything okay to eliminate your desires then only you are empty and once you are empty with all these you are going to understand in your heart you are going to see your heart you will enter inside the cave of your heart and there lies the treasure okay so make sure the whole field is to be brought not just the you know <coughs> the treasure okay so this was one okay and the similar parable says the parable of the pearl that also says the same thing you know that when you saw those pearls okay then he what he did he also sold everything the rest of the, the rest of the things were these greed desire jealousy okay you sell them okay and you are there okay. so do subscribe me okay and i will be continuing with this parable uh, you know parable hope so that you have understood this parable thank you